hello and welcome guys to the uh, summer concert series here in uh, Seattle, Washington. I'm here a little early. Uh, got the RV here, got a couple friends with me. And here is the White River Amphitheater here in Auburn, Washington. People are trickling in. Uh, the first show, the first band of nine doesn't start till 1.30 p.m. here. And it's gonna be about 72 degrees today. So perfect Northwest summer day. Uh, I had a couple other options this year. I've done painting the grass before, but it's no longer a one day event with four stages. It's a three day event with separate tickets and you can't even camp here. You gotta leave every single night and come back the next morning. So I didn't wanna do that. And then Breaking Benjamin and Chevelle are later in September here. I'm gonna be out of here by then. So I'm doing the Disrupt Festival here, which has got Thrice, Atreyu, Sum 41, and The Used is headlining this one. So just going to uh, secure everything up. And then when traffic is really bad tonight, I'll just probably be one of the last people to leave, let all the cars go. But not bringing the GoPro in with me. Um, and I know I'm gonna get copyright flag for the music anyway, so I'll keep them really short clips and just kind of show you some of the event on my phone instead. All right, okay. fantastic show yesterday guys traffic there was kind of tough getting out of there it always is they run you in auburn after the show they run you back like 10 miles in back roads just to kind of stage you so that they don't completely mess up all traffic but you know it's always worth it i'd like to go to one big festival like that a year and it'd make me feel good and it was nice being with friends i met a lot of my viewers actually so many of you like nine or ten people came up and recognized me in the stands of those nine and ten, one of them was a member of the band Sleeping With Sirens who came up to me after the show and gave me a used pick from the show. So thank you, Sleeping With Sirens. I am definitely going to uh, be subscribing to your YouTube channel and checking out more of your music. Uh, but yeah, really, really great show. And it was fun hanging out with friends. Speaking of friends, well, first, I have made some changes to the RV. Um, in a way so that I can be less reliant on using the slides of my RV. And that meant doing a little bit of remodel in the rear bedroom. 
let's go, let's go check out a few exciting things. All right, and again, if you're new to my channel, this on the left is my monster slide bunk area, which will be converted into a computer desk storage area eventually. But this is the size of the walkway when the slide is in the in position. Everything is still accessible. Bathroom door, I can still get in just fine. And I can get into the bedroom area just fine as well. Before we talk about the bed, <laughs> I told you it was coming, guys. Now, the slide is in, so you can't get a really good idea. This is the biggest magnet board you have ever seen in your life. Six feet long by four feet tall. And it currently holds all of the magnets that I have collected in the last five years. Okay, with lots of room to spare, obviously. And it's here in the back. It's covering up the back window. In the RV, you do not need to keep that window accessible because it's not for use with the front. There's not even a rear view mirror in the front of a Class A RV. Uh, therefore, that's why we had the backup cameras and the other cameras. I still have this window, which is an emergency exit, and it opens up to let some fresh air in. So next would be the bed area. I did uh, show this new lull bed that I have here, but I made a pretty major change here. Let me show you what's going on. I flipped the bed around 45 degrees. Instead of going west to east, we are now north to south. And as you'll notice, the bed is not up against this cabinet where I cannot open these drawers anymore. I did sacrifice one end table. So I still have one. I pulled out the other one to be able to turn the mattress and the board and to back it into this corner so that I can still have a walkway here and open up all these drawers down here as well as these closets right there for my clothes without having to pull this slide out every single morning just to access things here. I am going to do something about the plywood underneath because this is still major storage underneath the bed as well. The whole bed still picks up so that I can store things underneath. But, and a big shout out to my friend Mary who gave me this idea when we were in Leavenworth. I was talking about my problems and she came in and took a look and like within five seconds just said, how about you just flip the bed around 45 degrees, put it in that side and then open this up. You guys are smart. Okay. That's why I ask you sometimes for advice. So, so far so good. It is working fantastically. Later on down the road, once this con gets converted into an office and storage space with, with, a, with a chair in here, again, it will not need to come in and out every single day. It just won't. How does my kitty cat do? He, is, he hu is he hungry for breakfast? He's hungry? Oh, okay, man, let's get the kitty some breakfast. So while I'm out here in this area, I am going to stay in this area for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go visit some more friends uh, here up on the other side of Puget Sound for a couple days. So we'll pack up everything, get some breakfast in me, and then we'll hit the road, guys. And I've arrived <laughs> to the, what I call the Destination Open Road RV Park. <laughs> Camping with a bunch of the old uh, tribe members out here. We got Aja from Pandemonium. Terry and Scott have invited me out to their property here from Destination Open Road. Got Tiny Full House, uh, Dana and the kids are over there. Wandering Jimmy is back here and Dave's RV travels, Dave's RV life is over there in the bounder. So, and he's over here sitting down. Uh, we're all getting ready to have a, a little potluck tonight. Uh, it's nice to see friends again. I, I mean, I've been kind of doing my own thing for, for a little bit here. And uh, with all the places shutting down here in the Northwest, it's nice to have a a nice friendly spot to just kind of park for, for a couple days and, and hang out with really good friends and, and family here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get all comfortable in the RV and then I'll get back to you in a little bit. And so for our potluck, I'm doing my Dr. Pepper pulled pork again, which is done. So we gotta shred this, add barbecue sauce, we'll add it to warm and be good to go. Oh yeah, in my bill wood. All right, got the barbecue sauce on the pulled pork there, the uh, honey barbecue sauce. So uh, we're just about good here. We'll just turn it to uh, warm and you're ready to go. All right, so the pulled pork, there's this green stuff I don't know what to do with. <laughs> there's some seafood shrimp there, it looks like, and some garlic bread. Those deviled eggs. Yes, deviled eggs. Ooh, meat. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's delicious. You wouldn't like it. It's movie time. We're watching an outdoor movie together. <laughs> Good morning, little cute titty tat. How you doing, big guy? 
Oh, I'm doing good too. In fact, we both slept really well out here. And so, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if we we might make some plans and head out of here together and go camp together. But, but right now, I'm just kind of enjoying the company of some family and friends. And I don't want to film too much, so I will get back with you uh, with some more relevant video stuff later. Okay, okay. Be well, guys. Bye-bye.